We're here tonight to basically talk about and memorialize some of the 22 people that we've lost just this year alone to anti-trans violence. These, to give you an idea of why these TDOR events started, uh, 20 years ago this year, as a matter of fact. There was a black trans woman by the name of Rita Hester, who lived in Boston. And she was murdered about this time, and this was part of a wave of trans murders that was happening in the Boston, Massachusetts area. And to make it worse, even when the perpetrators were caught, they were literally getting away with zero to no punishment for these crimes. And in Rita's case, Rita's murder happened during the Thanksgiving weekend. And to add insult to injury to what happened to Rita, the media not only misgendered her by using and dead named her, they also insinuated that Rita was doing sex work when she really wasn't. No disrespect to any of my sisters who are and have to do that to pay their bills. But in this case, when you were demonizing a black trans woman for this, that's a problem. It's also the other problem that happened at this time was that she was demonized not only in the Boston media, she was demonized by the gay press on top of it. So... That incensed the local Boston advocates and a woman by the name of Gwendolyn Smith in San Francisco who put together a year after Rita's death, which to this day, the perpetrator of Rita Hester's murder still has not been brought to justice 20 years later. They put together a memorial because what was happening is that these murders were happening and as they would fade from you know, the news cycle, we were beginning to forget. And TDOR is designed so that we don't forget the people that we have lost to anti-trans violence. This year we...